Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today I want to show you the DJI Phantom 4 prop guards. Let's just see if they're worth the price, what they do actually, if we can crash the Phantom into something safely with them installed and finally how to install them. Let's check out this episode. Don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe right now to never ever miss any exciting tutorials anymore. And if you feel like you can't withstand already now, you need to purchase prop guards. You can find the product link right down there in the video description. If you're new to drone flying, you can save time and money if you use prop guards. No broken propellers and more safety in general are the result. I highly recommend using prop guards for indoor flights, even if you're the owner of a Phantom 4 with obstacle avoidance. I created a special video on how to operate a drone indoors safely. The link can be found in the description below. If you're planning on hand releasing or hand catching your Phantom, it is always safer if you use prop guards to protect your hands and the surrounding. Of course, I created another cool video showing you how to safely take off out of your hand and catch it again. A link can be found in the video description below. Finally, there is another situation that you want to have the prop guards attached. When flying very close to objects, for example, the cross of a church or other obstacles that you need to have very, very close to the camera, the prop guards are there to save your drone. While you possibly couldn't come close enough with the obstacle avoidance sensors activated, you can get super close shots with the prop guards attached while adding enough safety to not crash if you slightly hit an obstacle. Let me show you right now how to safely install the prop guards. The installation is easy and can finally be done within a few seconds only. There is one final change we have to apply to our Phantom before the first usage. Lay the Phantom upside down onto a flat and hard surface, for example a table. Now push all four transparent plastic placeholders out using your thumb. They sit very tight, no worries if you need to push harder. Once the placeholders are removed, we turn the Phantom back around. We are now ready for the normal installation procedure. Take one prop guard and stick the plastic arm through the hole. Now lock the arm and repeat this procedure with the three remaining prop guards. Let's now come to the fun part of this video. Let's just bump the Phantom 4 into some objects and of course this is not recommended. And of course I was not flying too crazy and too fast because otherwise I think the prop guards can't save the Phantom. Glad the copter survived that hard trip. There is one more thing that I want to mention. That is actually that when having the prop guards installed, you should always note that the Phantom turns off the obstacle sensing system. That is very important to know. And But that's the only way you can get very, very close to objects for superior looking shots. Um, only keep that in mind. And finally, I want to give these prop guards four out of five times tech time stars. But why only four if they do the job so good and they only cost around 20 bucks? Why only four? I can answer that as well. Take a look at that test footage of mine. If you're flying super fast forward, the fastest you can go, you can see the prop guards showing off in the footage. You can see them appearing at the top of the footage. And um, I think, I don't know, I can live with that. And especially for indoor flights, you're never going that fast. And um, in case of emergency, I could still crop into the image as I usually record within Ultra HD. And I think these are a must have for every pilot, for every new pilot and for pilots that want to fly indoors and etc. cetera, et cetera. Um, Yes, you should purchase yours right now. A product link can be found right down there in the video description below. And I actually love those. I have never been using the prop guards on the Phantom 3 and Phantom 2, as I never liked the, screw, the screws and stuff like that. Um, but these are so easy to put on and uh, to get off finally. I love mine and I'm going to keep them right in my backpack for, I don't know, various situations. Thank you guys for watching this awesome episode. Feel free to 
leave a thumb up and to subscribe to never ever miss any exciting episodes again. This was Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Stay tuned, fly safe, and don't forget to click at the product link right down there in the video description below. Ha ha! Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> beast! It was just trying to suck my blood. Vampire! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha